Hey guys, how are we? Well, great to have you along for another uh, video. And uh, my apologies for not uh, churning out more content, but look, at the end of the day, we're focused on other uh, projects at the moment. Working overtime to try and get them out and uh, come under a lot of fire from people and uh, including my wife and one of my best friends about uh, not producing more content. Dave, people just love to listen to you and uh, you know, I don't know why, but uh, look, at the end of the day, uh, we're really in a situation where the world is getting stranger and stranger and uh, this is exactly what I was saying uh, over 12 months ago. Um, if you have watched the previous videos from over 12 months ago, you will uh, notice that I said that we are entering into World War III and uh, in a lot of instances, I think we're already there. Um, I think we've been in World War III since probably January, February last year. And uh, it's only gonna get more and more uh, evident as the time goes by. Uh, what we've seen over the last couple of weeks uh, I think it's just obfuscation, like they're really trying to obscure uh, and distract people from what's happening uh, geopolitically, but also um, internally in regards to domestic policy in the US and in the EU. Uh, we saw the Nord Stream pipeline um, uh, be uh, blown up a couple of uh, months back. And we said back then it was more than likely uh, the US or the UK, and now it's come out that it's the UK who did that. And uh, you know we're uh, we're now in a situation where a lot of stuff in regards to uh, the Bidens and Hunter Biden's laptop, etc., uh, has come to light, and there's a whole myriad of different things that are that are happening. So my my expectation with things uh, going ahead is that I think we're going to see an event that's going to make uh, the major event of the early 2000s look like uh, child's play. I think what's coming is going to be so massive uh, that it will not only change uh, people's worldview, but I think it's going to change the geopolitical landscape and the uh, financial lands landscape so I think we're on the cusp of a new financial system, but I think there's going to be a major event that occurs uh, that is going to be absolutely shocking and uh, it's going to be uh, engineered. Uh, the events of the, uh, the spy balloon and um, the uh, UFOs over the United States with the train derailment uh, and then this, uh, you know, idiotic uh, sabotage of the environment in uh, Ohio is, uh, you know, it's, it's all engineered. Uh, it's come to light this afternoon that um, there was a B-grade movie made about a uh, train derailment that caused a major environmental uh, disaster in Ohio that was released in 2022. And a lot of the, uh, the extras in that movie were the, um, uh, residents of Palestine so uh, you know you just sit there and you think well when uh, life imitates art what, what a coincidence so we're really in a situation now where things are starting to get out of control and it's only going to get worse and worse we've been saying for a long period of time uh, cryptos are probably going to be one of the major uh, hedges against the collapse of this uh, current financial system. Uh, I know a lot of people talk up gold and silver. If you're already in a place and you're hunkered down and you're gonna stay there for an extended period of time, having physical gold and silver on you, yes, it's a great idea, it's fantastic. Uh, I know here in Thailand they have 96% uh, purity in regards to their gold and uh, the local gold shops basically dictate the price of that gold and uh, you're not gonna be able to sell that gold overseas or anywhere else in the world. It's gonna be very, very difficult to sell that. So, um, you know, it's a waste of money really to buy Thai gold. 
and to uh, buy into their, uh, their, uh, their system over here. So I would not advise that at all. The easier thing to do is actually to buy cryptocurrency. But the problem with cryptocurrency is that it's extremely volatile. So, uh, you know, one of, the, uh, uh, one of the options is to have a currency that's pegged to the US dollar, but I don't like those sorts of currencies. And I've had debates with friends over here uh, recently regarding that. And one of those is the Tether um, cryptocurrency. But, you know, what happens if the US dollar is printed off into infinity? What are you going to do with, uh, with your Tether cryptocurrency then? It's going to be next to worthless. So I think there are better options in regards to, um, you know, crypto investments. And I know there's a bit of discussion on the um, Telegram group in regards to um, cryptocurrencies. I know some of the guys are into Monero and I have owned Monero in the past. Uh, but uh, don't hold any at the moment. But um, there are, you know, guys and, uh, you know, good friends of mine that are here that are well and truly uh, across the uh, cryptocurrency s uh, scheme. And uh, they un understand uh, most of what's happening. Uh, so I will say this, we're on the cusp of launching our own app um, the app's already installed on the servers, on our own infrastructure. The program is ours. And um, we're just in the process of putting together some native apps for iPhone and Android. We'll have them done in the next uh, month, I hope. We've got another major project to finish before then, so stay tuned for that. But that's going to be a really great opportunity for people to share ideas. Uh, and create their own groups on that uh, infrastructure, as well as, uh, you know, uh, sell items and create um, their own distinct pages and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots of opportunity on that new platform. But uh, one of the things that we will do on that is actually have a discussion uh, room for cryptocurrency. So if that's your uh, shtick, then uh, you'll be well and truly catered for on that. So what do I think uh, you should watch out for? Well, one of the things that I have noticed the trend of in the last uh, couple of weeks is the talk of having compulsory military service. And this is a precursor to uh, having people uh, conscripted into the military. Now, if you're in a Western or European country and you're not satisfied or you're concerned about the situation, then get out now. Uh, the time to actually relocate, the time to move, is actually uh, coming to a close. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because we're getting to a point now where uh, it's almost like a runaway freight train. Uh, things are getting more and more out of control. So the window or opportunity to relocate is actually closing. And I've been saying this for 12 months and uh, and I'll continue to say it, but it is going to get far, far worse over the next couple of months. Um, and who knows what uh, 2023 will hold. But, uh, you know, some of us may not even survive to the other end of uh, 2023, to be quite honest. And, um, you know, it's going to be that full on. So I strongly suggest that uh, people relocate I know uh, a lot of people talking uh, up Mexico. Be very cautious with that, as I, I've had my reservations about South America in the past for various reasons. And um, a lot of those concerns are starting to emerge. And, um, you know, we're seeing certain things happen uh, with the drug cartels in the tourist areas in Mexico at the moment. There are reports that are being released all the time. So just keep that in mind because uh, it's really not a good situation. And um, strongly suggest that you think about that in a very clear and concise uh, manner. Uh, you know, Thailand is okay. Um, a lot of these, uh, you know, um, countries around Thailand and Thailand, uh, Laos, Cambodia, um, 
are going to be fairly neutral in a conflict. In saying that, I am not a fan of Thailand. I'm not in love with Thailand at all. And I've had some discussions recently about, you know, wanting to head back to Greece. I absolutely love Greece, love Italy, um, love Spain. So, um, you know, when the time is right, I will head back to Europe. Uh, I won't be heading back to Australia. Um, but at the end of the day, look, that's the, uh, just the fact of the matter, that uh, things are not good in Europe at the moment, so we're here in Thailand, and that's, uh, that's for the time being. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you're in a situation that's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, I'll be doing a border run tomorrow, which uh, I'm really not looking forward to and uh, wasn't expecting to have to do it. But, you know, sometimes you just have to man up, suck it up and just do it. So uh, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, look, at the end of the day, uh, you want to be in a, in a relatively neutral country when this thing really starts to get out of hand. It's on the cusp of being a kinetic conflict at the moment. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize that, um, you know, the U.S. is really pushing for a conflict with uh, China and uh, Russia. And I he did hear that China and Russia are doing war games uh, off the coast of South Africa. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, interesting things at the moment. The reason why they do war games is because what they're trying to do is understand how to communicate with each other on the uh, field and uh, how to bridge any, uh, any communication and equipment gaps. And uh, they will be uh, working hard, no doubt, to uh, try and ready themselves for whatever they perceive as coming. So <coughs> really at the moment, what we're seeing is that the, uh, the West is fighting a proxy war in, um, in Ukraine, but that's just going to continue to develop and get out of control uh, with, uh, you know, uh, this guy who seems to want to uh, commit uh, 50 plus year old women to uh, the front line to be churned up as cannon fodder and uh, all the other uh, uh, human rights abuses that are happening over there at the moment. Um, and I'm not being explicit about it, I'm being cryptic, but I think if you've got half a brain, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, some very, very sad things happening at the moment uh, over there, and um, it's only gonna continue to get out of control. I did see that there was a call for mandatory, uh, mandatory military service in uh, Germany at the moment, and uh, we're seeing that right across the Western world as I said, and uh, that doesn't bode well if you've got children that are uh, of military age. And as I've said before, strongly suggest that you relocate if uh, you or your family are in that, um, in that age bracket. So yeah, very, very difficult times ahead. It's none of it's good news and I, I understand that, but um, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I have no interest in that. Um, if you want sugar-coated BS, then uh, I suppose watch your mainstream media. So, not good times ahead, but you can sort of position yourself to weather the storm, and that's what we're suggesting here. If you go back and look at a lot of uh, my previous videos, you will see a lot of the stuff that I was talking about uh, 12, 18 months ago uh, is all starting to come to pass now, unfortunately. So, as I've said, the window of opportunity to relocate and reposition yourself is coming to an end. And uh, things are getting more and more difficult as the days and weeks go by. Your uh, opportunity to uh, make these changes, either financially or um, in regards to um, uh, your, your actual location, it's, it's coming to an end. Uh, if you are in the US and you have a 401k or an IRA that you want to move into uh, a gold, uh, gold IRA or precious metals, then strongly suggest that you go to my gold 
mygoldira.us. That's mygoldira.us and sign up there. Um, so yeah, so there's certainly, uh, you know, little windows of opportunity to, to do stuff, to get things correct. And, uh, but that window is really starting to close. If you're thinking about relocating, um, strongly suggest Southeast Asia, and that's literally just a time um, insurance policy. That's just so you can bide your time. I certainly won't be staying here long term. Um, I am really looking forward to going back to uh, Europe uh, permanently and um, no interest in returning to Australia at all. Good riddance. Um, you know, just terrible situation over there. So yeah, look, uh, you know, as uh, what's his name, that uh, fellow nomad capitalist, I forget his name, but uh, he always says, uh, you know, go to where you're treat treated best. And I absolutely agree with that uh, wholeheartedly. I think that's a stellar idea. Uh, not that I think you're going to be treated best in Thailand. There's a lot of things that I don't like here. Uh, the weather's great, uh, but that's about it. There's a lot that I don't like, including the cuisine and uh, the music, uh, just to name a few. But anyway, it is what it is. So we're here for now. We put our big poi pants on and we just do what we've got to do. All right, guys, well, uh, going to love you and leave you, and uh, I'll keep you up to date with further uh, updates in the next uh, couple of days and weeks, and uh, we'll do more and more updates as uh, things in just get more and more strange. Uh, just be very, very mindful with all this, though, is that uh, a lot of this is obfuscation. They're obscuring what's actually happening. So uh, just be mindful of that. Don't get sucked into the, uh, the news uh, cycle or the uh, official narrative. It's, uh, it's a lot of it's just BS. Um, you know, even this UFO uh, rubbish that's over the US then strongly suggests that, um, you know, focus on better things. Uh, at the end of the day, you can only focus and control what it is that you do personally and um, yeah, if you can focus on yourself, focus on your situation, uh, focus on the situation with your family. If you need to make changes, then make those changes. Uh, don't get caught up in the news cycle and all the hype and the drama. Cannot stand it. It's just such rubbish. So, yeah, look, at the end of the day, <laughs> I was thinking of this the other day. Um, you know, uh, 2022, I knew nine people that uh, passed away, right? 2023, I'm not expecting it to be any better, I think. I'm expecting it to be far worse. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're, not, we're not in really stable uh, times. And uh, new financial systems, new geopolitical landscape, um, and new technology really that we're going to see released and look i could go on and on and i'm just rambling now so anyway guys uh if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel hit the like button hit subscribe and we'll uh, keep you informed uh and uh, go to the overseas exiles facebook group and sign up and the telegram group i do read most of the comments that are on telegram and uh, soon, if you uh, hang tight, we'll have our own app up and running. Okay, guys, I'll chat with you soon.